Hello and welcome back to Mod Adventures Venturescape. Since last episode, I went back to the stronghold and mined all the runite ore there just because I also found a mine shaft when just looking around a cave, mined a bunch of ores, just explored a bit. And uh, I also caught a mutant zombie. I think it's in here. Yep, in an entity mover, so we can fight that this episode. I just saw it naturally spawned. It just ran up with the entity mover and boop. And uh, I also uh, made a small uh, food farm just so I didn't have a big food problem because I am running a bit low on food and don't want to just go around killing more cows off camera. And I also tried to make an Abyssal Demon spawner using the spawner block we had from the Stronghold or the Dark Wizard thing, but uh, it didn't work out well. Anyway, or at least it hasn't spawned yet. I made it, but it's not doing much. But uh, I forget the exact order of this. I'm pretty sure it's alphabetical. So uh, let me just try this real quick. Uh, Oxy, Karel. Guthin. There we go. So I made the key. Oops. And now we can go in here, fight uh, Verk, because he's the one who's always in here for some reason. And that's why I always have so many Verk keys spare. I actually threw one out and I still have a few spare. And I hate when he does that. Uh, that's a spawner block. I think maybe if he gets too far away from it, it teleports him. Either way, we're going to loot the barrel's chest and see what's inside. And uh, yeah. Crap. Absolute crap. I can never get any of the Barrow's items and it's really annoying. I only got this one and it has amazing durability by the way. But uh, yeah, so that's about it for this Barrow structure, I guess. And there's probably another one or two nearby, knowing how this works. I forget how to make the map bigger, it's X, okay. And there is a Doom-like dun- or Rogue-like dungeon. I always get those two mixed up over there, apparently. But, uh, yeah, I think I'm just gonna head back to the base now. Unfortunately, the teleporter's- uh, there's a teleporter up there, right. So I'm gonna head back to the teleporter, head back to the base, and yeah. Okay, so I'm back here at the base now, and there's one thing I want to do to start this episode, which is uh, these books of absorption. It's probably a waste of levels, since I only need 10, and 40 is a lot more than 10 times 4, but- I'm going to use it anyway, just because I want the extra absorption hearts, and I always forget to save 10 levels when I do enchanting and stuff. So, uh, yeah, but I do have a lot more ores here, and I can just actually throw these in there. And that's coal, but I really don't need coal ore anyway, so... I don't know, I have a ton of resources, more than I'll ever need for the rest of this series. I also got a ton of vert keys, more than I'll ever need for the rest of this series. And, uh, yeah, but I think that's about it. I don't think there was anything in my backpacks I had to sort back. So, uh, yeah, so if I just, uh... Throw these bolt racks here, throw this chest plate there, and throw these bones in there. I'm good to go. And, uh, did I have a king spawner? I think I might have put the king spawner somewhere else, but, uh, whoops. Uh, but it's still around. I know I have it somewhere. I forget where I put it down, though. But, uh, I think it's actually at the... I think I put it down at the castle so I could get the Abyssal Demon spawner and bring it back. But, um, that spawner's not really working. I'm not sure why. Oh, it is working. Uh, see on the map, there's a little red and black icon. That's an Abyssal Demon. So, I don't know, maybe you can't stand too close to them or something. Uh, but the bot spawner here is working very well. We have more dragon and such than we'll need. But this is the Abyssal Demon spawner. I could not figure out how to get it uh, working well enough. Like, to, uh, I forgot to put a ladder. Let's just say that. Oh, they can get in here. But uh, I guess this works. But uh, there's a spawner block. I tried to replicate what was done in the other place. And... Uh, yeah, so if I just put that there, can you get me? Nope. So I can just swing at them here, and they can't hit me, and they should spawn in there, and not in this little section. But, uh, yeah, the whip drop from them, the Abyssal Whip, which is one of the best weapons in the mod pack. It's not the best, but it's still one of the best, because there are a few other weapons that deal more damage than it, but, uh... Yeah, so I'm going to work on this stuff off camera more, so hopefully I'll have an Abyssal Whip for next episode. But I don't think you want to see me just stand around and wait for that, when I can stand around and wait for a different boss. So, uh, yeah, I think I have the High Wisted Spawner in here still. So let's see if that wants to spawn for me. Okay, so this spawner just does not want to spawn a High Wizard for me. I'm not sure if it just doesn't have the proper spawn conditions, like it requires other things nearby. But we did see him once in the structure, so I think what I'm going to do is I am just going to hop into creative real quick and search... There we go. There's the High Mage spawn egg. So I'm just going to spawn him using the spawn egg instead of the spawner block. That way I can just fight him this episode because I'm tired of waiting around just to try and fight this boss. Uh, I'll just uh, grab this spawner in case he decides to spawn once we have him spawned in here. So let me just grab some potions real quick just in case I need them. And I probably will want the strength at least and the regen can't hurt. 
So uh, let me just get this stuff all ready and we will fight the boss. Okay, so I just drank my strength potion and now let's fight him. This is the high wizard and oh my god. I forgot about that. He is currently impossible because every time I hit him, he does that. But, uh, I don't know. Let's see if I can actually do this anyway. The reason he's impossible is because of my sword. So I did this by mistake. But if I can just get away from the Black Knights, thanks to my jump boost, I actually can invade them rather well. And focus on the High Wizard, I might be able to do this still. So, uh, there's going to be so much experience, though. Okay, so I'm just trying to do this, like, pogo technique on him right now. Because, like I said, these guys can't really hurt me much. Or I didn't really say that already, but they're not hurting me much. So, if I can just focus on the high wizard, we should be good. And I'm not sure how close he is to dead or if he is dead. Oh, I thought he was dead for a second, but I think I mislooked. Uh, we got a dragon sword for some reason. I'm not sure. He might be dead. It's hard to tell with all these other things here. Uh, yeah, that's a lot of them. That's a lot of black knights. So, uh, I don't know. Is this the staff? That's the Ceredominus staff. I'm not sure if he drops his rare drop 100% though. Ooh, but he drops the staff of Armadile, which is surprisingly broken. It's pretty much like all the god staffs combined in one with a super powerful, like, triple lightning attack. And then, um, it also has the explosion of the Guthic staff. It pretty much just destroys stuff. Ow. And, uh, yeah, so I'm gonna deal with this giant horde of black knights and then cut back because I don't think you want to watch me slay out a million black knights here. So, uh, yeah. Okay, so the High Wizard is dead. I came back in here after luring them all out, and he's nowhere to be seen. My inventory is just full of stuff right now, and uh, did I put food in here? I did not, so I'm actually out of food. But uh, there's still a ton of these guys out here. Oh, thank God, they're actually despawning. But the good news is I did get a bunch more experience from that. But uh, yeah, I didn't seem to get anything of note. I didn't see any, like, dragon leg drops or anything really cool. So I'm a bit disappointed in that, but... Uh, yeah, there's just a ton of experience all around. So, uh, yeah, but we did fight the High Wizard, and I know what I can do now so the King fight doesn't have the same issue. Pretty much the problem was, uh, this sword, I have Death and Acid, and those give Poison and Wither. But every time the boss is hit, including Poison and Wither damage, he spawns a Black Knight. So when I hit him with the sword, not only did I have the initial contact blow, but he got hit with Rapid Poison and Wither for a few seconds that just spawned, like, 50 of them every time I hit him or something. Not 50, but... Like, 10 at least every time I hit him. They just, he flew back and just a line of Black Knights appeared. So, uh, yeah. So, I'm gonna actually try enchanting a new sword and clearing my inventory. And then try and find where I put down the King Spawner. And then we'll try the King. Okay, so before I go and find the King Spawner, I want to make a few more of these Absorption books. Just because I would like to max out my Absorption. And I think I'm nearly there right now. I also do have a few Strength Pots I need to set going. But one, two, three. So I think I have one more Absorption Heart I need. If I take off my armor, we'll see. Yep, one more. So that's my Natural Absorption Shield. But I do have a bunch of Gold Apples. Because, well, it's not hard to make apples when you have this much gold. So, uh, yeah. But I want to get these Strength Pots brewing to make them Strength 2. Which needs a glowstone, I believe. Uh, I might be wrong, because I always get that mixed up, but I'm pretty sure glowstone is uh, level 2 potion, so, uh, oh well, if not, I'll have uh, strength 8 minutes. Yeah, 8 minutes. I almost was thinking different, but okay. So, uh, anyway, I need to go grab the um, spawner now, which is in the other place. Yeah, that's vague, but uh, let me just uh, go grab the spawner, and oh, I forgot to set down my old spawner, so, whoops, but, uh, I'm pretty sure the King Spawner is just in here. So, uh, yeah, let me just head over here to the place and I'll grab that. Okay, so this is in fact the King Spawner. If I pick it up, it says King. So, uh, yeah, I'm just going to give myself the Spawn Egg like I did earlier. And let's just search King. And I think I'm just going to actually fight him here. Oh, I, f I need to go get the Strength Potion. Never mind. Uh, that's King's Guard. So there's the King. So, I got the King Spawner, I'm back in survival mode, I'm just gonna leave both the spawner blocks here, but you know I actually have the spawner still, so it's not like I'm cheating and just spawning in a spawner, well I am, but 
I could have just waited around for it to spawn, but it's just taking forever for them to spawn. I'm not sure if they only can spawn on certain blocks even. Like, the king might only spawn on cobblestone, so if I'm trying in a place made of obsidian, it won't work, or something like that. So, I'm just gonna use a spawn egg to fight the king. We already found it spawner legit, so I'm counting it. So, let me just head back to the base, grab my strength potions, and we'll fight him. Okay, so I'm about ready to fight the king. I got my potions and I got food. I actually forgot I had two stacks of steak left, but uh, there's this old derpy lesser demon. Uh, it looks pretty stupid, but I actually like this design better than a new one. Uh, the mod creator left both in the mod pack, and I have no idea why his horns are turning independently from his head. That's kind of creepy. But, uh, yeah. And there's also a mutant creeper over there, but we already killed one. And that reminds me, I forgot to pick up the creeper egg from the barrows. The first barrows. I just left it out there, I think. So, um, if we come in here, I can spawn the king. So, I'm just gonna drink a strength potion in advance. And, uh, yeah. This sword, by the way, is just sharpness. Huh. I thought the king would look different for some reason. But, uh, yeah. He summons king's guards, like the one we fought in the castle. And, uh, that's about it. So I'm just going to kill him, and he does have a Chaotic Rapier, I think. So if we kill him, he might... He's dead, isn't he? Well, that was anticlimactic. I thought he'd be a better fight than that. Uh, let's just go right into the zombie, so I don't have to wait another strength, waste another strength potion. So um, this is the mutant zombie, who also is... Wow. But he does have respawn. He has to be killed a few times, so... Don't let his uh, death there fool you, but strength potions are just overpowered when you use with a plus 9 damage sharpness 5 sword. So, uh, yeah. Man, I'm just tearing through all these bosses this episode. <laughs> Come on, are you actually dead? One more. Okay. Oh. Well, at least he got to use a special before he died. I think he's dead. Yep. And now he has the lag hammer. I call it that because it doesn't do a lot of damage, but does this effect... And if you spam it, it will lag your game horribly. Like, it will get delayed. Like, if I spam it ten times, I can walk away and I'll still be going. So, uh, I'm not going to use that. But, um, that's actually most of the bosses I plan to do this episode. Um, yeah. I guess maybe we should look into the cow fight queen again, then. Okay, so the same deal applies. I'm going to see if I can find the cow fight spawner. If I can, uh, I might just give myself the spawn egg. If not, um... Well, I guess I'll have to find a new structure off camera. and not sure what I'll do this episode. But, ah, oh, these cow fight swarms are so annoying. But at least we haven't seen an infernal one yet, so that's good. But, ah, they're making it so hard for me to check the cow fight spawner. So, is that the cow fight queen spawner? So, it is still there. So, there is a chance the KQ could spawn again. If you missed it before the KQ spawned by mistake when I was near here. And, uh, it caused a lot of problems. So, I'm just gonna take this cow fight spawner over here and... Is that a good wizard tower? Has that been there the whole time? Because remember when I started the series, there were so many structures around that I just kind of ignored them. But, uh, if there was one there and I always never went back, or I forgot to ever go back to it, that's a bit annoying. And, uh, first... We didn't just do that. <laughs> <laughs> I got a dragon pickaxe. Off a cow fight spawn. By accident. That's amazing. So I'm just going to put this in here for enchanting later. Uh, the cool thing about this is I can trim it with gold and make it stronger. And it also will mine a lot faster. So I'm probably going to do that later this episode off camera whenever. Because that pickaxe will break spawners way faster than my old runite one. Or my current runite one. So, it's pretty much the best pickaxe. Although, I think trimming it might make it lose some durability. I can't remember. But, uh, yeah, I think this is a good spot. Let's just set down the cow fight spawner. And I think I'm just gonna wait a few minutes, see if it spawns. Oh, dear God. Okay, so, um, those are two more cow fight spawners. We have cow fight queen spawners and hellhound spawners next to them. What in the world is going on here? Uh, oh. For a second, I thought that might have been another infernal one of them, but I think it's just an infernal thief down there. Eh, words, tongue twisting. But, uh, yeah, my uh, goal now is just to stand here and see if the KQ wants to spawn. Because if it does, I can grab it with the entity mover in my inventory. That way we got legit, so I didn't have to wait around for uh, this, uh, for uh, that's Where'd I put it? <sighs> I had it here a second. Oh, there we go. That spawner to spawn me a cow fight queen. So, if one of these spawns a Caliphate Queen, I can just grab it and hopefully move it without any issue. I'm running down here to see if there's anything. 
of note, like dragon legs lying on the ground, because I really want better leg armor. So, uh, yeah, so give me a second to see if anything happens here, and uh, hopefully you can fight the KQ this episode as well. Okay, so I decided to give up on the Calphite spawner because the Calphite Queen wasn't spawning and I decided it's probably best to save that for next episode because uh, I don't want to do too many bosses this episode and have nothing left for the rest of the series. So instead, I want to explore this a bit. I doubt I'm going to have time to go through the whole thing this episode just because I already have recorded a decent bit of this already. But I just want to explore, see what's here, uh, go as deep as I can. Uh, okay, that made it a bit easier. So, uh, yeah, and oh god, Infernals. Uh, I'm just gonna run down, because that seems like the safest, right, that's the safest thing to do. Uh, okay, you probably can't see well at the moment because of YouTube and brightness, but I can't put down a torch because I'm being attacked, which is why I really hate having low gamma, but, uh, yeah, and oh god, a spider thing. Huh, I actually never made a Warhammer yet. And it's weird seeing one on the ground like that. It almost looks like a rare drop, but nope, it's just a common everyday Warhammer. So, oh god, that's a nice shortcut, though. Um, pretty much, I know this goes down to, like, nether levels. So, uh, yeah. Oh, a loot chest room. Uh, I think I'll grab the experience bottles and just try and go through here and grab anything that looks valuable or useful. So, actually, I think I'm going to throw back some of these lesser value things I picked up along the way into any chest that will take them. So, yeah, let me just uh, look around here and loot stuff. Oh, God! There's some sort of infernal mob that just blew up that chest. Um, oh, God, those are cave spiders. I am out of here. I will not tolerate cave spiders. Ooh, fortune three and leather. But Oh, wait, wait, wait. There's something in there I needed. Oh, that's snowballs. I thought it was a white stone. The chest trolled me. Okay, so I am still getting through this dungeon decently. Um, oh, I was probably leaning a bit too close to the mic there, I just realized. And, um, I don't know, I'm just trying to speed run through this. And I don't want those potions. They look like strength, which it always throws me, because I would like more strength. Strength is good. Is this a stronghold? It almost looks like a stronghold, but I think that's just the layout design is meant to replicate it. Okay, so I am getting through here decently. But, uh, I really want to just get down to the nether levels of this, and, uh, yeah. Okay, it's just a dead-end room. Hmm. So, I have no idea where the stairwell down is, and my minimap's not helping just because it shows me too much, actually. And, sorry I have to keep, uh, making it dark and light again, but that's just how this works, so I can keep going, and, yeah. Ah, darn zombies. So, uh, yeah, and I actually need to heal up, so back to... Ah, no, 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 no. Hey, mind Jeff. Oh, God! Well, at least hopefully the spiders can't follow me. So, uh, yeah. So I found a mine shaft. I found the chest of some stuff. It got all exploded. And uh, I found a deeper layer. So there's that. Uh, anything useful here? Not really much useful I'm seeing. Uh, and I hear a lot of spiders, which is making me very, very nervous. Because you know how much I hate spiders. Ooh. Interesting. I really like the pattern. Oh. How did the chest survive that? Didn't survive that. What the? Yeah, spawners everywhere. But, uh, oh god! So yeah, I really don't want to die down here. I just want to loot the stuff like I said. And I have no idea what that... Oh, that's a trap of some sort. Looks like a very elaborate trap actually using a parator. Huh, interesting. I forgot I didn't have an easy way out of this. So, um... Hmm. Come on. Mine this. Look in the chest. Nothing good. Darn. So, um... 
This is not... Actually, there is a diamonds and a notch apple, or a gold apple, not a notch apple. So that was good. But, uh, I'm just trying to find my way around now. I just got completely lost, so, um, there's that. Okay, so at least I made it back into the dungeon area of this. Uh, now if only I could find my way down a floor... Oh, God. More stuff. Spiders. 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 So this is not going too well for me. Um... Okay, so that might have actually been the last floor of the dungeon because I don't see anything deeper. And uh, I think that's enough exploring. I was just kind of running around there aimlessly, not really trying to find anything particular. But uh, that's interesting. Huh. I guess that's an upper level of the thing. Or the roguelike dungeon, I should say, not the thing. That's a bit vague. But, uh, yeah, and I'm starting to get a lot of lag just because there's a lot of things going on. And I keep hitting the wrong... Oh my god. Spiders, 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 spiders. Ow. Oh! Well. We made it to the nether level. So, uh, I think I'm actually gonna end the episode here. I know that's probably a mean thing to do. But, uh, we can explore this at the start of the next episode. I need to get back to the base and, uh, kind of, uh, prepare. Or at least deposit stuff. But, uh, yeah, we made it down to the nether level. And somewhere in here, there's, like, a huge treasure room with a lot of stuff that I really want to get. Uh, okay, I need to just kill this spider spawner now. Because I do not want to- Ooh! That's weird for a cave spider to drop, but I'm not complaining. So, uh, let's just throw out this dirt and... Aw. Was actually the spider wearing at? That's weird. But, uh, yeah, like I said, I need to uh, put down this teleporter and head back to the base and wrap up this episode because I think this has went on long enough. And I think teleporter 3 is still open. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to head back to the base. I'm going to deposit all this stuff and wrap up this episode. Hopefully in the next episode we can explore the bottom floor of that roguelike dungeon. I actually said it right this time. I thought I might have called it Doom-like by mistake again. And actually, uh, we can get the last heart of absorption while we're at this. So, uh, um, gas tier goes in here. I can grab a book and uh, put it in with this gold apple. And right-click and ta-da. Now I have... If I take this off, if I take this off, ta-da, I have 10 absorption hearts from that, so I can get another few for my armor if I get new legs to enchant, because I don't want to enchant the rune ones. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to wrap up the episode here. Hopefully enjoyed the boss fights, even though they kind of were anticlimactic and I didn't get the boss's rare drops. Uh, I think it was uh, the Staff of Armadale and Catech Repair, respectively. But we did get the hammer, at least, and some nice loot. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, hopefully enjoy this episode, and until next time, goodbye.